today's role playing video, we're in Brookhaven, but everyone is a witch. Whoa! Golly, shush! What? It's the end. See, they went through the gates of heaven together. So you're saying he's no longer a cat? This cannot be the first time you've watched Hocus Pocus, seriously, Sky. It's not, but it gets me every time. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I get it. It is pretty captivating. I'm just glad we're refreshing ourselves before the sequel comes out. You know, people have been waiting almost 30 years for it. Girly, we haven't even been alive 30 years. Oh, good point. But anyway, would that just be so cool? What would be so cool? Sky, are you listening to me at all? No, sorry, girly. That movie really gets me. Living in a town like Salem. I so wish we lived in a place where we could be witches. Wait, do you want to be a witch? No, I want everyone to be a witch. Think about how cool it was back like a hundred years ago when there was just a town of witches. I don't really know what history lesson you've been listening to, but okay. I'm serious, Sky. Think of how cool it would be to live in a town full of witches. I mean, I think it would be pretty awesome. Well, as long as they're not like the Sanderson sisters, I don't really want my soul eaten by a witch, thank you very much. Sky, you always take everything so literally. What? I'm just saying, I don't think that would be a great idea, especially in Brookhaven. What can I say? You've gone mad, girly. Oh, really? I'm the one who's gone mad? Yeah, but I can agree with you on one thing. That was a pretty great movie. Later that night. Whoa, would you look at that? A shooting star. Quick, Mackenzie, make a wish. Hmm, what would I wish for? Oh, I know. I wish that everyone in Brookhaven becomes a witch. As above, so below, shall everyone in Brookhaven walk with a witch's toe. The next morning. Oh, man, what a bummer. I can't believe that didn't work out as I planned. Darn shooting star. Well, I should have known better. Morning, Mom. Oh, hi. Good morning. How did you sleep? Fine. You know, it's not like anything magical happened. No, nope, nothing magical at all. Just some old boring thing. Well, alrighty then. I made you some pancakes for breakfast. Uh, pancakes? You know I don't like pancakes for breakfast. Well, do you have another idea for a wholesome breakfast? Uh, duh. Waffles. Mackenzie, I told you, you can't have nothing but waffles every day. Come on now, eat your pancakes and we can talk about the waffles again tomorrow. No, come on, Mom. It's already been kind of a crummy day. Can you just make me some waffles? How can it be a crummy day? It's only 8 a.m. And for the last time, no, you're having pancakes. But I don't want pancakes. Meow. Oh, my God, Mom. What did I do? What did I do? Mom, Mom, please answer me. Meow. Are you trying to say something, Mom? I am so, so sorry. I swear I would have eaten pancakes if I knew this was going to happen. Okay, I don't know what you're saying, but I can tell that you're freaking out. Don't freak out, Mom. I'm gonna go get help. I don't know exactly how yet, but I swear, I'm gonna get you out of this. A few moments later. Girly, what are you doing here? I thought I was gonna meet you at school. I made a super dumb wish last night that everyone in Brookhaven becomes witches. And I didn't think anything was gonna happen, but then I woke up and I turned my mom into a cat. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm a witch now. And why are you just staring at me like I'm crazy, Sky? You need to do something. Wow, good one, girly. Now that Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out, you're trying to pitch an idea for the third movie. No, Sky, I swear. I'm serious about this. Yeah, right. I swear on mine and Josh's future together. Okay, well, you definitely have my attention now more than you did. But there's still no way that I'm buying you're a witch or I'm a witch or whatever the heck you said is going on. Uh, what are you doing now, girly? I'm proving something. Proving what? Proving that I'm right. Quick, quick, think about something and think about one thing only. Why? Just do it. Uh, fine. And what were you just thinking about? Uh, I don't know that I was hungry. And just like that, food appeared. So do you believe me now? We're witches, guy. I don't know how it happened, but it did. My wish came true, and now I think we're in really, really big trouble. Well, I do agree with all this, girly. We can't really be focusing on that right now, because we're going to be late for school. Oh, right, school. Wow, this kind of sucks that you have to be a witch and still go to school. You're telling me, girly. Now, come on, let's go before we're late for school. Meanwhile. Okay, girly, as long as we're at school, remember, it's me on the witch's way. What on earth are you saying, Sky? It's pig Latin for Nix on the witches. Wow, I thought witches were supposed to know all languages. I don't know, but nice job talking about it out loud. Oopsies. We'll figure this whole magic thing out later, but right now we have to... Uh-oh. What? What is it, girly? Don't tell me some other wish you made come true. No, no, no. It's just that my wish, I wish that everyone would be a witch. So? I said everyone, meaning Ashley. <gasps> Ashley with supernatural powers? I hate to see the day. We'll talk about it later, okay? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Yay! 
Now, today's lesson is really going to matter because you guessed it, we're going to be talking about different kinds of matter. <laughs> Get it, guys? Carly, we can't wait and talk about it later. We need to talk about it now. We need to make a plan. Well, what do you expect me to do about it now? Excuse me, can I get a hall pass, please? Could everyone please stop talking all at once? Uh, I want a hall pass, too. Will all of you just be silent? Thank you. Okay, let's start the lesson. Who can name one kind of matter? Okay, go ahead, Mackenzie. Thank you for being so polite and quiet. <coughs> Mackenzie? Mackenzie, I can't hear you. Oh, all right, I get it. I said be silent. Sky, uh, what about you? <coughs> okay, Ashley, I know your voice can cut through just about anything. Oh my god, what have I done? I've made all my students mute! No, the teacher union is gonna write me up for this! A few moments later... Oh my gosh, that was the longest spell of my life! I never realized how much I like to talk! Oh, I'm pretty sure we've all realized it, Sky. We need to fix this, girly. We can't live in a town full of witches. Look at what happened in Hocus Pocus! Okay, first of all, that's a movie, but I do see your point. We need to fix this, and quick, before anyone gets on to us. Uh, what are you guys doing? Just let us through. You wish, losers. That was weird what happened in class today. Super duper weird. Ashley hates not being able to talk. Shut up, Ayla. I got this. Sorry, Ashley. That was very, very weird. And anytime something weird happens, you can't help but blame the freaks. Wait a minute. Are you saying that everyone went silent because of us and somehow this is all our fault? Yes. Based on what? Based on the fact that you're losers. I thought I made myself clear. <laughs> Guess not. Later. Thank God those clowns are off our faces. How do you think it happened? I don't care how they got off. All I care is about that they are off. Okay, what are we looking for, Burly? Anything we can find on witchcraft. Burly, what is it? Ashley didn't do anything to us. No, not yet. So let's hurry and find the book before we get an opportunity to. No, Sky, that's not it. Then what is it? Because I would like to see doing a little less talking and a little bit more reading books. Think about it. Ashley didn't do anything to us. It's Ashley. If anyone turn us into anything or take the chance to humiliate us it would obviously be ashley yeah okay i'm with you so far okay so then why hasn't she so far if everyone is a witch then why isn't ashley guy come on earth the sky now is not the time to have your nose stuck in a book no i'm pretty sure it's the exact right time girly we have a problem well i mean other than the obvious but what's going on now according to this book for every covid of witches there is a witch hunter so so Oh, girly, think about it. What if Ashley is the witch hunter? Huh? I mean, I guess it would make sense. Oh, my God. If she really is a witch hunter, what does that mean? I don't know. I haven't gotten to that page yet. We'll keep reading. Meanwhile. Something strange is going on, Ayla. Sorry, Ashley. I'll stop right now. No, it's not you, you idiot. Sorry again. Usually when something is bothering you, it's me. That's true, but not this time. No, something strange is going on. And do you know who I blame? That little loser, Mackenzie. Oh man, my phone isn't working. Shut up about your phone, Ayla. Something strange is going on, and I have to be the first one to get to the bottom of it. First, everyone went silent. Then Mackenzie and Sky's faces became clowns. I mean, that makes sense. They are clowns, and looking like that is an improvement for them. But that's not the point. Oh, this dumb phone is broken. I need a new one. Oh, look. Later that same evening. Tell me why again your parents let you sleep over on a school night? Well, I'm a witch now, remember? They didn't exactly let me as much as I cast a spell to have them let me. Oh, wow, well, that's a good way to do it. Apparently, do you have to throw the pillows off the bed so loudly? Sky, that wasn't me. There's something coming from outside. Well, come on, let's go check it out then. Mackenzie, I will burn you at the stake as a witch. Oh, Ashley, get lost. The only witch around here is you, and your person so please leave. Don't even bother denying it. I can sense it off of both of you. What are you gonna 
do actually burn us? I might, or I might have a better idea. Sky, if you turn on Mackenzie, I'll spare you. Not only will I spare you, but you'll be immune from bullying forever. Wow, uh, that's a really nice offer, Ashley. <gasps> but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say, get lost. A few moments later. Okay, well, I'm gonna try this again. As above, so below shall everyone in Brookhaven not walk with a witch's toe. The next morning. Please don't be a cat. 